Hi, I'm Sam with SPS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. In this segment, we'll walk through the basic settings and programming of the Neptesco Alex MPK. After you get connected to your Alex knee, the basic settings allow you to set up and program the knee. One of the things you can do uh, from your basic settings is where you would synchronize your remote control with the knee system. You would select your appropriate time zone, Eastern Standard, Central, Mountain, or Pacific. Then we would go to Next, and we'd be able to calibrate our sensors in our knee from the screen. And then you can actually uh, do a test of the different vibration alarms and settings of the knee uh, for the patient. And then we begin actually programming the knee. The toe release point is the transition point at which the knee transfers from stance to swing phase. If the knee is sticking, you would slide the slider to the left of the red mark or to the right to, to make it more stable. And then we would set, set our stance flexion yielding. We want to set it to where the patient can sit into a chair. If the value is too low, we need to raise it. The patient would dump into the chair. If it's too high, we need to lower it to the left. Stance extension dampening is that feature. If the patient walks with stance flexion, we can adjust the dampening action as it comes back into extension. 10 is the factory setting on that. No reason to go below 10. Please do not zero this out. It will have an impact on your swing phase resistances. Here we're gonna to try to mimic the natural heel rise. This brings us to the swing flexion adjustment. This is where we would set up the heel rise of the knee as it goes into swing phase. Number to the left is lower resistance and moving it to the right is higher resistance so you can match your heel rise correctly. Then we would actually adjust our terminal impact, which is your swing extension dampening. Safety lock feature allows the patient to stand on declines or ramps without the knee drifting into flexion. Uh, on the Alex knee, we actually have the ability of when the battery goes dead as clinicians selecting whether the knee will go into high resistance for our patient or free swing for our patients. The Alex knee is a polycentric knee, so it's more inherently stable than a single axis knee, so free swing may be a better adjustment alternative for your patient. This has been the Clinical Minute. For additional videos, visit spsco.com slash clinicalminute.